I made some impulsive moves that I now see as impulsive. Instead of seeing the bigger picture, I was only focused on like my instant gratifying demands. And I allowed that to um, detour me. We were awarded a $600,000 grant from the folks over at Workforce Connections. And what we're using, utilizing that money for is to be able to uh, provide training for folks and vocational trainings, very unique vocational trainings for individuals to help them to gain uh, full-time employment. Well, we were awarded um, $800,000 to work with the out-of-school populations. We serve young adults ages 16 to 24 who are considered at risk, um, young adults who um, weren't able to graduate high school successfully. So what we do is we get them re-engaged back into education and employment. It's actually very, very rewarding to see a youth come in our office with multiple barriers from foster youth to a youth who's pregnant or parenting to a youth who has um, an incarcerated parent and be able to have them transform into um, an adult into society. So I received the work-based learning um, pilot program for Henderson and we received $500,000 to work with the Henderson population. We're going to be providing them opportunities in the workforce such as uh, work experience on the job training, internship, job shadowing, um, with careers that they would be interested in and goals that they set. I believe providing opportunities to the youth, 16 to 24 year olds, I believe that providing opportunities to them is something that is essential in Nevada in general. Um, we have a big uh, hospitality industry and I think youth just need more opportunities to grow in careers rather than just everyday jobs. It, I feel like that's what we're supposed to be doing. We received $360,000 from workforce, for 180 for adults and displaced workers and 180 for youth. And this gives us another service we can add to a small community with very limited resources. This current year we have um, youth, specifically DOR, which is dropout recovery dollars, and ADW, adult dislocated worker dollars. Combined it is um, about 1.7 million. Um, uh, together um, we provide um, service to any individual that qualifies um, assistance with education, training, um, employment, um, sustainment, basically getting them back up on their feet, making sure they can take care of themselves and their families. You know, we sometimes, uh, specifically also in, in youth, we have a bell. And when they get their high school diploma, when they get a job and they ring that bell, and we celebrate that throughout the office, um, you know, it's, we understand it's not just their celebration. Um, we are celebrating too. We celebrate for the hard work that we do and for everything that we're able to give them. This year, we received uh, funding for at-risk youth. We specialized in current or former foster youth. Um, we were awarded $500,000. Um, we utilized that funding to support um, aged out foster youth. So we basically provide life skills training. We also work with education, employment, and the new part is housing. Here in Clark County, there's an issue with foster youth becoming homeless after the age of 18. So knowing that we can take them under our wing and provide services to them so when they turn 21, they can be sufficient and be able to live independent and not end up in the streets or in prison. What we do is we do uh, career services, career exploration. We have uh, an 80% uh, budget for out-of-school youth, which is our main focus. So we help them with career exploration and um, barriers to employment is what we focus on most to remove those barriers and get them into uh, training and long-term employment. Young adults that don't have direction and could use a lot of what we provide and that will make our community better in terms of uh, you know the um, average wages. Um, we were funded for the One Stop Affiliate East to serve adult and youth and we received 1.66 million dollars. For many of the people that come in um, they are doing entry-level work if they are working um, and so the program will allow them to gain the skills to move up in a company potentially um, or gain a better better job. It definitely helps their family. Many of them come in and they have children. Um, they have parents that they're taking care of and an entry-level position doesn't allow them to really take care of their family. 
It is very important to be able to assist our youth, especially today. They are going to be our leaders one day, and we need them to be able to see all the areas that they're able to go into. When you give them, when you empower them and give them the ability to see that they are capable of doing so many things and that they, you highlight the skills they already have, um, it gives them a direction of what where they're going and what they're going to do. By being able to find that, see that information, now we can help the community at large find what do, where do we need to concentrate. So tell me what today is. Today I start work. Um, I just graduated Friday and I'm five days later I have a job. It means that my life can start. It means that I can open a doorway for other prisoners. It means that I can actually have stability. It means I can provide. Know that they're not just putting it into any organization, they're putting it into lives. They're helping restore people's lives and inspire hope and motivate people to keep on going and know that this organization helps everybody. 